be under no illusion guys Bandai biggest hobby model producer for scale model kits I can't even get to the stands here it is so busy obviously we're looking at the Gundam Mecha style I'm gonna try and cover a bit of that if I can just to give you an overview but really I can't even get close to the stands here it is so busy but I do need to look at the Star Wars stuff so I'm gonna get around there when I can maybe I can just have a quick look new release is the Star Destroyer in very small scale I'll just see if I can just get my camera in and just get a quick glimpse of it there she is there's the sprue slayed out there for the Star Destroyer. Sorry. I'll try and capture a little bit more of this later on. So I'll just come back to have another look at this Star Destroyer from Bandai. It, the scale's 15,000 scale. The detailing is amazing on it. And here it is inside a inside a, a box. You can see. I gather they are going to supply some sort of lighting kit that allows you to display it like this. It looks absolutely amazing. And here's the other range. I'm hoping to see the B wing, but that's not here. If you have a look very carefully, there's the shuttle underneath it as well. So that must be part of the kit. <laughs> Okay, we're just on a mixed trade stand at the moment. ICM, Hong Kong models. First time I've seen this model in the flesh. The big 132 scale Lancaster. And it looks like, yep, yeah, they've released a new one. It's the Dam Buster B Mark III. Obviously, Dam Buster is famous for Barnes Wallace's design of the mine that you can see under slung here. And there's some really nice box art of the mine being dropped, obviously breaching the Elba Mona dams in Operation Chastise, you know, legendary piece of history for the Royal Air Force and the Second World War. This one, I don't know if it has that see-through body or not, but you can find about that later. Border models with their recent release of the Mark IV, their new kit is a Leopard 2A6, which I'll be honest about, a little bit disappointed. I was going to hope to see a little bit more German armor from Border on their Mark IV. I was hoping maybe for some Mark III's, Sturmiger shoots, etc. But we have got a new tooled Leopard 2A6, which is really well covered by a lot of other manufacturers. But there she is. It's still following that quite, you know, really like nice, simple construction. You can see there that the hull has all the fittings already mounted on it for the road wheel placement. Turret looks good. A little bit of photo etch, not too much, just to give you those details. A range of markings, etc., as well. Now that one says Leopard 2A5 on it, but the kit I'm seeing here is a Leopard 2A6. Try and clarify that for you later on. Here's Ravel, Ravel with, I don't know if they're new releases or not, sorry guys, I don't follow them too well, but so I'll just show you what they have and just give you a quick uh, overview. It's a bow fighter there in 148, a roadster in 124 scale. I might be thinking that has something to do with ICM as well, but maybe, maybe not. A Ford Shelby, another Leopard, a Leopard 2A6, 2A6 NL. NL is the Dutch version of the Leopard. Probably has the parts that reflect that. There is a difference between those two. Also, we have a 
snap together, snap together, coming back really. Model manufacturers need to simplify their kits for younger modelers and maybe to introduce the hobby to a new generation. Got an A320 Neo Lufthansa. I don't know if that's a new, it is, it's a new mold, A320. At last, from Ravel, their old one was getting kind of tired. Let's see if there's anything significant about it. And, um, well, the Neo, of course, obviously, is, is a new A320. The kit does look really nicely, finely molded, etc. The cockpit's one piece for you, one to one four four scale airliner modelers. They've got a 124 scale tractor here, and also a, it's, this is also a snap together kit in their range. And a GT in 124 scale. Okay, here's ICM. ICM are a Ukrainian manufacturer of plastic injection, really more or less World War II genre. This is not a new release, but a recent release. The model WOT6 British truck, sealed sprues laid out. There's the box art. Sadly, not one built. And I was saying about the, this is the ICM Ford Model T. I really wonder if they have shared the moldings to Ravel for what we saw on their stand. 148 scale Dornier do 215 with an engine detail. Famous I-16-24 Rata. Zastalina is the slogan on this uh, early Soviet aircraft of the Second World War. We've got a figure range here from DJ Miniatures. They have some, re these are all resin. Really nice selection of figures, first time I've seen these. And just another glance at the Lancaster, we need to see that again. It's just a selection of models on the Hasegawa stand. Some Mac I, the machine crew got. I'm pretty sure this has been out before, but maybe there's some new parts. I really wouldn't be able to tell you. BMW, early BMW. This is a new kit, the Rosengrant uh, fire tender used by Japanese Air Self Defense Force on their bases. A new construction crew set in 135th to complement their range of 135th construction models. Hasegawa, of course, very well known for their Imperial Japanese Navy ships. So we're looking at, uh, I believe, 1700 scale. And this is aircraft carrier Akagi detail upset. And I think it's demonstrated on that model. You can see the photo etch railings, the wooden deck, etc. And 1700 scale kit of a, another aircraft carrier. Sorry, I don't know which one it is. None of these kits, new releases, but still very good to see them here at the show. Okay, here's Hasegawa with their new 124 scale injection molded car kits. And their first announcement is this YHP Nissan R920C and fantastic Datsun 240Z, which is, uh, you know, a real classic Japanese sports car. The one that I like though is this. This is Nissan GTS R31. And that's a new kit, 2019. Here's the R92 CP. They've re-released the Mitsubishi Evo Rally from, I believe that's an Evo 4. No, it's an Evo 3, 1996 been re-released these were out of production for quite a while and they've come back they have re-released all these this is new a I don't know it looks like a big American it's what does it say on the front Buick I think range of figures to uh, accompany 124 scale cars or otherwise this is a brand new release. This is an A10 UAV. I did see that inside their catalog. You can see, obviously, they'll have based it on their A10 kit. 
and then new parts to reflect this UAV version. I was hoping to see this Phantom on display. It's uh, Japanese Air Self Defense Force's final, U final year of the F 4 Phantom, F 4 EJ. And 112 scale, Kawasaki, KH400. New 2019 release from Hasegawa. We've got the Yanmar Harvester. This is probably something you would never see in the West or North America. Can you guess where it is? It's a harvester for rice. Produced by Yanmar Company. This sort of follows their line of construction kits. And okay, we may have never ever seen a rice harvester before, but it sure does make for an interesting model. And I think the price is 3,000 yen, not too expensive. All multicolored parts, they haven't got the sprues laid out, they just have the model out itself. And I, that kit is imminently released. In 124th scale, we've got the Toyota Starlet brand new tooled kit. Looks really nice. I like the Hasegawa range of normal domestic cars. You can see the Starlet really nicely detailed. Look at the underbody. You've got the full engine pan, transmission, drive shaft, etc. Here's the sprue layout. And there's a range of uh, decals there. I believe that looks, yeah, it looks like the interior parts. So you've got the carpeting, etc., to do the door cards, etc. And you've got a whole range of numbers for number plates if you want to do, you know, your own vehicle. To B Max, B Max from Macau. They work with Aoshima on quite a few collaborations. 124 scale race and rally cars is their speciality. Their sort of announcement here is this Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo 1984 version. There's the poster and there's the kit in livery from the Great Britain RAC Rally 1984. And there's your sprue layout. Hoping to see the Quattro. The Quattro isn't here, unfortunately. But, yes it is. I'm so sorry, it is here. I'm going to get through to that. We'll have a look at the, the kit across here. A lot of rally, rally bias from BMAX. But, um, there of course, the Lancia Delta S4. And there she is, there's the Quattro. Quattro, you know, the sort of, you know, definitive Group B supercar. I wonder if they ever bring out the RS4. Volvo 240 Turbo Box there, let's see if we can find that one. Some Japanese touring cars here. Group A, don't really know too much about that genre, know more a bit about my rally cars. And these are all their previous type releases. BMW M3, Jägermeister markings, German touring car. And there we are, a 1994 British touring car championships with the uh, Driven by Hoy and Bailey, I can actually remember watching this when that series used to be exciting.
No, never mind the model. I really want this real deal car here. It is freaking awesome. A genuine early Skyline. Wow, what a piece of you know Japanese retro memorabilia this one is. It looks so freaking sick. Hey, we can't get the car. I might get the kit. So we're uh, at the Beaver Corporation booth. These guys are like the wholesalers, importers for a lot of different manufacturers into the Japanese domestic market. So let's just go and have a look and see what's on display. Got to start off with Horizon models. And I believe they bought all toolings from Ravel of sort of space series rockets and they probably produce a few of their own. Don't know too much about them to be honest. What has caught my eye is a 172 scale DC-9. Looks a little bit lacking on detail, but 172 DC-9, there you go. Airfix have got their 124th scale Grumman F6, F5 Hellcat. Fully detailed. The, the kit isn't built up and on display here, but they do have a lot of the sprue shots available. This company, Plastic Soldier, I have not come across 172 scale armor kits. Okay, so this is uh, Freedom Models. Small range at the moment, but maybe they're going to expand. RPG Models with their TAEU. They've only got that one single kit out at the moment. This is Amusing Hobbies, 135th scale range of basically, let's just call them paper panzers. That range continues down here. <laughs> FV217, not really too sure what that is. Reminds me of the turtoys. Big, heavy, self-propelled gun. Meng range, as we've seen quite a few of these before on the other stand. Toon tanks and some new releases from Meng or quite recent ones. Rye field models with their full interior Panther. Here's Takom. Takom have got a, some recent releases here. The Strabacran. Here's the Burger Panther. And this one has really caught my attention. It's the Yag Panther. If I can get in there close, look at the way the Zimmerit has been done. The Zimmerit is an injection plastic. And we have seen that done before by Dragon. But the detail here is really nice. It looks like real Zimmerit. So they managed to capture that really well on this kit. Some more tack on there. There's the M46. Masterpiece models, don't know much about them. Model Collect, well known for their 172 scale armor kits, also produce 172 scale aircraft, including their B-52G, as can be seen here. Very impressive model, even in 72 scale. We'll see if we can get around to Flyhawk. Flyhawk produce quite a lot of highly detailed naval models, but I do like their 172 armor range, in particular their Abrams. So let's just see if we can get in there and have a look at that. There she is. That's really nice. I want that straight away. M1, A2, SEP with the mine plow on it. Let's see if that kit is available. 4,000 yen, it is a must today. And there's their range, 1700 scale, very highly detailed um, 
uh, battleships, etc. Unfortunately, it is underneath a plastic case, but regardless, here is the 135th scale Kitty Hawk HH60G. This is SOAR version, Special Operations, US Army. This is the kit that comes with all the resin figures, all the goodies. That is looking really nice, really sweet looking kit there. Gonna be popular. Beside it, 132 scale, RF5E, they do have quite a few F5s in their version. This is the Recce Bird in 132 scale. That looks like a, uh, a must have as well. Okay, I've just come back to this section. I just realized here, Wing Not Wings are gonna be bringing out their 132 scale Avro Lancaster Dam Busters. And here are sort of the first sprues produced of that kit. So you can get an idea of what you're in for. Detail looks amazing as you would expect from Wing Not Wings. What's catching my eyes here is sort of like the molded electrical wires on some of these parts are fully detailed. They're actually incredible as they're 3D and the, there's no flash whatsoever and they've got really fine detail. Also the hydraulic on that strut this is, you know, really high level kit manufacture. Let's have a look at some other parts and see these 3D molded fairings for, they look like the rear of bomb cases, but I'm not too sure. Part of the Merlin engines there, they don't look fully detailed, but maybe we can't really tell from that there. Yeah, that's going to be a treat when that comes out. I think a lot of people are waiting for that. We definitely want to see some more of this. Oh, so we just know that. Look at the tires there. We've got like a flattened version. On this side, if you don't like flattened version, there you go. I just noticed this as well. These are sprues from... I believe it's Rye Field Models M4A3E8, the EZH Sherman. You can see here there's a bit of information on it. I think people were anticipating a full interior version of the Sherman, but it appears not, or else I would imagine that would be on the promotional card. And from the sprues, it doesn't appear to be that way. It doesn't appear to be a, uh, a kit with a full interior. Nevertheless, really great detail on there, the tracks as well. Be obviously a popular kit regardless. Okay, let's just check out Fine Molds. Fine Molds, if you don't know about them, they are a Japanese kit producer and they really do sort of cater to Japanese subjects, especially Imperial Japanese Navy, uh, aircraft, Second World War, and some of the Jagstaff stuff. But let's have a look here. As usual, Girls and Panzer is getting more and more popular from the anime series, and they are releasing this, which looks like a little... Hey, I'm sorry, I don't know. It doesn't actually tell me, but it looks like sort of like a Russian or French tankette not really too sure here's another version I like that one that big oil like cannon on there somebody will tell me somebody will tell me in the comments please details really nice there's the kit layout and this must be a well of course a6 M2 zero of course it looks like a brand new tool from fine molds Let's have a look at the sprues. That cockpit detail looks exceptional there. <laughs> and that's fine molds. 